is up guys welcome to the channel i'm dusty one half of our radiant gaming and we have ourselves a nintendo switch oled splatoon 3 edition ashley has been so excited for this and i thought i would unbox it for you guys today so let's go ahead and jump right in and here we are with the box of the oled honestly the box looks really cool ashley and i both want to keep the box just to have the box flip it over to the side we see that it is the seven inch oled screen it's a 64 gigabyte of memory we have our dock and then obviously the adjustable stand which is a big deal for the OLED model in comparison to the regular Switch model. On the back, we have some awesome photographs that really show off the design of this box. You can see all of the Splatoon 3 art on both the dock, on the console itself, and on the Joy-Cons. It looks great. And on this side, it just shows us what we have inside of this box. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what this thing looks like in person. I know how good it looks on the pictures, but I know pictures can only do so much, and I am so excited to get into this box. As soon as we open the box, we see we have our Joy-Cons and man, they look even better in person than they do in pictures. This greenish yellow color looks incredible. I absolutely love this. And the Splatoon 3 art looks so good. We'll take that out of the packaging, set that over here. See so if you guys can see that, man, that looks awesome. Got our purple Joy-Con here, also looks incredible. Absolutely love the art. It is a little less noticeable than the green one as far as the design goes, but it's still really cool. Has that glossy finish design that you can see. Has the Octolings and the Inklings. The back has this nice white cover, which I love. Had some separation between the colors, as you guys see that one as well. See how it shines with that design? I love that. And here they are together. They both look super, super cool. Here's our actual system. As you can see, it looks like a Nintendo Switch. On the back though, we have this awesome design that carries over from the Joy-Cons. Go ahead and get that out of the packaging. And man, that looks so cool. Immediately, I love the kickstand because the kickstand on the original Switch just wasn't all that great and I'm so glad that they introduced this new kickstand. At the bottom, we have our charging port, our speakers. At the top, we have our on and off switch, our volume adjusters. Also, our game card and our headphone jack. Sides are the same as always as you plug in your Joy-Cons. Take out our covering here and we are met with our cords. They include an HDMI cord, which I can get behind. I love that. Here we have our power brick. This is the same power brick as was on the original Nintendo Switch, that USB-C style, which I love the USB-C style. I was just telling Ashley the other day how much I love USB-C in regards to other types of chargers. And here we are met with our Joy-Con controller. I also love that they include this. This one is just black. There's nothing special about this Joy-Con controller. There is a Splatoon 3 edition Nintendo Switch Pro controller, though. If you're interested in that, I will link it in the description below. It is awesome that they still include this, though, even though it is not Splatoon 3 themed. We're now have our Joy-Con grips and these however are not just your average everyday Joy-Con grips. These actually are honestly really cool. They are greenish yellow and purple to match the Splatoon 3 so I love that they included that little detail so that is pretty fun. Something different to have in regards to your other Joy-Con grips. And here is our dock padded up really nice so nothing happens to it. And wow this is really cool. This has like almost a texturize. And if you guys know anything about selling products, you know that consumers are met with texture and love the texture. And I love the texture of this. One thing that I noticed immediately is in comparison to the normal Nintendo Switch, this has rounded edges rather than just more of a square edge. We have our splat shot here, which I think is cool. Also that Splatoon design on the front as well. The bottom does feel a little different. There is kind of a grip, nothing crazy, but it's kind of like a padding as you can see. On the sides we have our USB-C ports. I think this looks cool. This is different than the other switches. It is kind of rounded looking and I love that. I love the white as well. I love the white on the normal OLED switch and it looks even better on this Splatoon 3 edition. Still continuing with that design that is on the front, it is on the back as well. The back does come off so you can hook in your cords. It does come all the way off, which is a little different. The old ones don't do that, but nevertheless, maybe it just makes it easier. I'll see how I like it in the future. Have our LAN connection here, our HDMI out, and our AC adapter. Overall, in the hand, it feels way more durable. I don't know if it's because I played our original switch so much and maybe it just feels less durable because I've dropped it a few times, but it does feel very high quality. And I assume just to put the cover back on, you slide it down and connect it. Yeah, so the cover does come all the way off, but it's nothing major. I mean, it, it comes off, but to slide it back on, it's very, very simple. We'll go ahead and put our Joy-Cons onto our Nintendo Switch. Let's let you guys see that together. Joy-Cons snap on nicely. Snap on this side nicely. We'll turn it on. 
get our first look of this switch. And now all the boring setup is complete. Obviously we have not put a game into this switch yet, but I have added both Ashley's account and my account on here. We do have our themes here if you guys are more of a light or dark mode. The dark mode does look pretty cool with the Splatoon grips, but Ashley loves light mode. I know she'll probably get hated in the comments for that, but we will leave this one on light mode and it still looks super good. Now, one thing I always wondered about the OLED versus the normal Nintendo Switch is, is there a size difference? So I have here my Nintendo Switch. It does have the Animal Crossing Joy-Cons on it, but it is the normal Nintendo Switch. The Animal Crossing console itself is on Ashley Switch, but there is really no relative size difference at all. Maybe a portion. I mean, literally that's as close as I can get. The OLED is maybe slightly bigger. Now, obviously here, our screen is a ton bigger in comparison from the OLED to the old Nintendo Switch. You can see all of this black space around here on our old Nintendo Switch versus the black space. It's really not there at all on the OLED. I do want to put in a game here for you guys to see if we can tell a difference, if you guys can tell on the camera a difference between the OLED and the old Switch model. Because one thing that is so big about this OLED model is obviously the fact that it is OLED. It is OLED. OLED just looks a lot better. I don't really know how to explain it. I don't know the technological terms of it, but the colors and the depth and the range of the contrast just looks a lot better. One thing too that I think is so important for me and something that I have honestly noticed since I have played a Nintendo Switch is the Joy-Cons seem to be a little flimsy whenever you are playing. However, this Nintendo Switch OLED does not feel that way at all. I don't know if they have fixed this in the OLED model. If you guys own an OLED model, let me know if yours feels a lot better too. With our old Nintendo Switch, which you can really just feel a little bit of shake in the Joy-Cons. And when holding it like this, it honestly just feels like they're going to break. So I can really, really appreciate, especially if I'm going to play handheld, that the Joy-Cons actually feel pretty stable in my hands. Especially whenever you're on a trip or you're in like an intense game of, say, Splatoon, you're getting a little sweaty at the game. I understand. I've been there. It is nice to know that the Joy-Cons feel like they are firmly attached to the system. I did also want to show you guys the difference between the OLED in the normal dock. This is the Animal Crossing dock, but it's pretty much the same. The bottom, you can see how the grip is different on the bottom. And also this is the part that stuck out to me the most. The sides just look a lot cleaner on the OLED model. I think that little circle on the bottom, maybe it's just cause it's new. I don't know, but it looks so good. One other thing I wanted to point out was the kickstands obviously on the Nintendo Switch have for the old model pretty much been a meme. So we take our old kickstand that is super flimsy. There we go. <laughs> Very, very flimsy. Try to set it up. Say if you're playing with a controller while it is off of your dock and you push this way just slightly, it's going to fall. It is not very sturdy at all. As for the OLED version with the Splatoon 3, if you pop it out, look at that. So much better. It honestly has resistance. It doesn't just move around freely like the other Nintendo Switch. You set it down, it is a lot more sturdy. If you're not playing during an earthquake, I don't think that's gonna go anywhere. So much better. I'm glad that they fixed that issue with the OLED model. You also have your SD port in right here on the side for the micro SD card. That is all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching it. If you like this video, be sure to hit the like button. Also subscribe, it helps us out a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching. Everyone have an amazing day and God bless.